Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KP Giants fan here, and uh, just uh, giving you guys a look see. Yeah, I've got my uh, Pyromancy Flame up to a plus 15. I don't think I've done much else besides that, so I figured uh, I'd show you guys uh, how to back down to the depths once you've uh, powdered up your Pyromancy Glove. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. That's about all I've done since uh, our last video, besides explain the patch, how they've nerfed the fuck out of our Pyro. But just trust me, just watch this. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So, uh, once you come down to the depths, come down to this area here where these, uh, these undead dogs are. This is where we're going to get the first ember. Now, I, I think it's the first ember, but, uh, I'm not going to go too much in embers. I'll show you where to get them, um, if you guys really need to. I figured I might as well just do a real quick, easy show you how to get this one, because, uh, um, once you get embers, don't ever worry about giving them to the wrong blacksmith, and don't fuck up like I did with that uh, butcher coming around when you're fighting that fucking dog. Um, so once you get the embers, don't feel bad about whatever blacksmith you give them to. You cannot screw that up. There's nothing you can mess up there. So uh, they will help you greatly. So I'm, right now I'm uh, having myself an Estus flask, and I'm going to go pick up the uh, the first ember of the game. Remember, just uh, when you pick these up, if you can't find the right blacksmith, uh, just keep searching around, and you will find the right one. You cannot screw up with this stuff, folks. Okay, up next here is the giant rat. Now, once you reach this bonfire, yeah, once you, if you have the master key, it should be easy for you to open up that key, uh, that door. I don't know what other key opens it up, but you, since you should have the master key, since you selected it when you started the game, it'll be easy for you to get into that bonfire there. So, uh, I'm just taking the helmet off real quick to look cool. Now, see this giant rat? This fucker can piss people off, so look at that. Oh, my God. You can thank my good old buddy, uh, fellow uh, clan mate, ICU clan. Like I've said, you want to check out my clan website uh, Mount Olympus is the guy who came up with this idea this is the easy way I'm just trying to get a position here I keep screwing up but yeah my buddy Mount Olympus is the one who uh, let everyone know that this is an easy schmeasy way to just cheese past this rat so once you get in the right position just keep firing arrows you know oh there we go see now I've got him just keep plugging away plugging away and this rat can't do anything about it now if you really want to get the item you dropped, I believe it's a humanity. It might be a twin humanity. No big deal. Just uh, go ahead and go pick it up when you run down to the depths, but uh, easy way to beat it. Now, when you reach this point with these uh, these giant rats at the bottom of the depths, uh, <clears throat> if you're in human form, you're going to get invaded by a... Yep, there he is. This is the first time this guy's going to invade you. It's going to be the first of three. So, uh... It's not a bad idea to make sure you're human form when you come down here because this guy gives you some pretty cool stuff. Uh, he's very easy. I completely forgot about this guy showing up, and I just happened to be in human form from killing that bonfire. So I'm down here just like, oh, God damn it, I forgot about this fucking asshole. So I'm just using combustion on him. He should be very easy for any of you to beat. Uh, you got a plus 15 pyro glove, boom, kill him. Uh, he drops a variety of items. I'm pretty sure you get a humanity no matter what from this guy. But uh, he also can drop you a barbed sword. I believe the spiked shield. Is that what I just got? I, I don't know. Uh, I was uh, reading too fast. I'm talking at the same time, and I hear my wife bitching in the background. So uh, I'm not too worried about it. So after you do that, come in right here. And this is the boss area. So run up this staircase right here. It's going to open a quick and easy shortcut right back to the boss from that bonfire that we just used. So do make sure... Make positive sure that you come up and open this up so you can rearm yourself because we're going to want a full armament of pyro before we go in there and fight this boss. All right. Now, I really hope this is my uh, most pathetic boss fight. Hopefully it is. <clears throat> if it isn't, then uh, whatever. But uh, here we go. This is how you get to the uh, the gaping dragon. Now, make sure you're in horn form because we've got another guy to summon. And just follow this path right on through here. Now, I'm going to screw... <laughs> this is going to take way longer than it should have. I went in here way overconfident. So, try not to do that yourselves. Um, the reason I think I came in here overconfident is because... On New Game Plus, I just blasted through this guy. He was nobody's business. And I completely, completely forgot about the patch. How much weaker they made Pyro. So uh, here we go. Go on ahead and summon Solaire here. Uh, yeah, our good old buddy Solaire. He's going to be with us through the through a good part of this game. So make sure you uh, remember this guy. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> this is going to be really pathetic. So uh, 
I got this on one take. I'm gonna get just fly through on one take to show you guys. Uh, yeah, go ahead, use your. Uh, all you really need is the Drake Sword, the Pyro Flame, and uh, a decent shield, and you should have no trouble. Um, as ominous as this boss may look, this is one of the easiest ones in the entire game. Like I said, I screw up really bad here, and uh, <laughs> I just kind of figured I'd leave it in. After all, this is a beginner's guide, right? And um, I would like to say, like right off the bat, right now, that I am no expert at video games. You know, I may have been—I'm 30 years old, um, so I've been playing games for a long time since I was about five. And uh, I just am um, trying to give you guys some tips on how to, you know, I'm, I'm not as fast as some of you kids are. Um, I was quick on the stick. But I like to implement strategy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get our fireball. I just have fireballs out because it's, uh, you should just use those first. So just try to circle around this big bad boy. Huh? Don't be intimidated by this sucker. He's fucking weak. And just kind of plug at him, dude. Now, again, like the gargoyles, if you want to hack away at his tail with your sword, I'm going to do that, I think, earlier, <laughs> pretty early on in this video, and it's going to screw me really bad. But if you want to hack his tail off, it will give you a weapon, which you can uh, you can use. I'm not going to go that route, um, but you can go ahead and do that. Now, I'm just kind of plugging him in with fireballs. Just try to keep your distance, roll away at him when he jumps up in the air, and avoid that tail attack. Like I said, dude, this is going to be pretty pathetic. This thing hits me way more times than I sh it should have. I have beaten this sucker without taking a single hit. But again, this is to try to help, uh, this is a beginner's guide, isn't it? So, uh, look at that. Solaire has been killed. Are you kidding me? I can beat this thing by myself without getting hit at all. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Just, just wait, dude. This thing's gonna fucking piss me off. It nearly damn well kills me, dude. So, just kinda, like I'm, like you see what I'm doing. Just strafe around him, roll around. Yeah, you, use your, uh, mobility. Use your uh, stamina bar to just, just keep your distance from the sucker. And I keep wasting fireballs, so uh, trying to make that mistake. You know, when he's grounded like that, that's when you want to hit him. That's when I throw fireballs at him. Now, you can get in close with your Drake sword. You know, use whatever weapon you want. Just get in close when he's down like that. And just hack away at him, throw fireballs. And when he drops down, make sure you roll away. Get away, keep your distance. Just keep plugging away at this sucker, dude. This is the easiest way to kill him. Of course, there's... Uh, different strategies, many different ways to do this, but just keep plugging away at him, dude. You now, see, I'm whittling his health down, and this is when I start to get really cocky and get really stupid. I'm like, you know what? Let's be fancy. Let's show all the viewers we can cut his tail off. Oh, yeah. It's a great move, dude. Let's get my sword out, dude. I'm pretty sure I... Yep, here we go. Let's get my sword out and try to hack his tail off and miss completely, what, three, four, five times and get whacked right in the face, dude. Pretty fucking pathetic, if you ask me, dude. I have to drink some more Estus. I'm starting to run out of Estus now, and I'm getting my ass kicked, so it's like, God damn it, dude. Oh, man, look at this. Big damn thing nearly killed me, dude. I'm used to not getting hit by this thing, so. Yeah, it shouldn't hit you. You know, just keep your distance. Roll away from him. Uh, look at this. What is that? A bunch of fucking puke? You just throw up all over me, dude? He sure damn will look like he tried to. Now I get up here like an asshole idiot. Oh, I'm... So lucky I didn't die with that hit. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, try to learn from my mistakes here, what I'm doing. Um, I believe that's a knight suit of armor. If you want to pick that up now, go ahead. Uh, you can easily pick it up after you killed the sucker. But just, yeah, roll away, <laughs> roll away. I'm pretty upset with myself and I get hit again. I mean, are you kidding me? This weak ass boss is pounding me this hard. So, uh, don't worry, I will not be this sloppy later on. I uh, learn from my mistakes, and I eventually just say, you know what, screw this, let's just get combustion down. Combustion, run up and pound him in the belly, and boom, guess what, goodbye. So, uh, we got a few loose ends to tie up in the bird before we move on to ne our next area, so that's going to be uh, my next video. You guys take it easy, we'll clear up some loose ends. Peace.